It's sunny. The sun is out. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in the Philippines. An Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Well, still got the flu. Bad. Chick was up all night last night. She was just about dead this morning. So put us behind a hell of a lot. So while she was doing her goats, I got stuck into this bloody corn machine. So the bloody thing kept breaking down again. So all you can do is just keep playing with it. So what ended up happening was this is the old part here. This is the old part. So this is your, let me go shirt cam. Ugh. All right, shirt cam's on. Right, so this is the shaft that goes inside. Okay, this one. Then this here looks here, it's got those little joints there. This is the old one. All right, but the nut goes on there with a split pin, but it was still, still coming off. So I ended up getting the right size washers to fit here at the right thickness, and I had to try a few different types, but I finally got it so that actually this is one piece, if you know what I mean. So I made it into one piece, and it worked. So I thought, you bloody beauty, mate, I said to myself. I said to myself, I said, self, I said, you bloody beauty, mate, you are, you're amazing, William. Then, so I got going on it, and then this shaft fits onto this, which fits onto that shaft inside here. Then this ended up free spinning. I thought, fuck me, you know, you fix up one thing, then it's bloody something else. So what I was able to do was to get a bolt, a nut, sorry, screw, screw, screw thread, like this, but this, locking one. I was able to get that to go into here and just cut it off with the grinder. And now this is all one piece locked in because that's flat underneath there. So that's not gonna come off. So I got that fixed up and I test drove and it went. So now, like I said, it's a bit of a shambles till I get this properly made up. So now I can stick one bucket. Oh, now I can stick one bucket full load onto here and that will just feed beautifully into here, into here and out she comes. Which means the corn cracking, as you can see, is quite good. And this is the powder that came out the other side. That's one hit only. So instead of putting it through like um, at least like three, four, five times, I can actually put it through once. And the ratio is about, um, I get roughly about 80% in crack corn, 20% in the hammered fine stuff out of it. So it turned out all right. So now I can just load it up and just walk away now and it doesn't stop, you know? So tools everywhere to clean up. Ah, so um, I got all that finished and Tick was still doing her goats. And we, I, I called us for coffee and it's like, shit, it's 10.30 already. I said, hon, we're not gonna make it to your mama's place. Not to, um, let's just do an hour's work. So it's useless. So tomorrow, like I said, we've got to go to Deval for a pickup in Deval, Wednesday. So don't forget, keep Wednesday, watch Wednesday afternoon, guys. Nice surprise for everyone. Everyone will be very surprised, trust me. Very surprised. And um, so I said to Han, it's, it's 10.30 now, we're not gonna make it. So she's on the phone talking to mum now, finding out you know, when she has to take it back again for a checkup, because you've got to get pins all put through a wrist, because it's all fucketed up. So that gives me a tell now I can clean up in here. Ugh. Come on, come on. So what I ended up doing was cracking all that corn that was in the um, drying in the sun. I got a full tin out of it, look. A complete one, full. So that's bloody beauty, that's, that's my chicken one done. That lasts probably about a month. And this is what I got out of for chicks one here, it was all this. Have a look at that. That's not bad guys, one cracking. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's all fucking locked up. As they say, they say in Australia is, Never marry a girl until you've seen her into three days of having the flu and see what she looks like then and see if you still think she's the most sexiest, gorgeous woman in the world to marry. So, and I think I'd agree. So anyway, back to the corn. So I've got all that done. So there's another, I think one and a half, two bags down at the front house. I'll go down and pick that up and put it out in the sun. Like the sunshine out today. Fucking amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. And um, I'll get all this cleaned up, put all my tools away. So uh, it's worked quite well. Thank you again, Andreas Martin in Germany, for the um, tool selection. Bob, the builder, it works, mate. I tell you, this little thing, bloody happy with that. You know, for these little jobs of um, putting the screws in here, putting these screws in here, putting screws in here, this is quite good. And I like this because you can flip that and click. You've got your drill. 
so you're not picking up two. So you can drill through and turn over and you've got the screwdriver. So thank you very much, Bob the Builder. You are an incredible man. Incredible man. Andreas Martin, thank you very much for your corn system that you made up for us on the farm. Really, really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to seeing you, your wife and son, when you come over this year. Right, so until then, guys, I'm going to... I'm going to finish my coffee, then I'm going to clean up because I feel absolutely knackered again. Tick's absolutely buggered. She's gone in to have a shower and gone back to bed she is. So um, thanks very much to everyone else for your support. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. Well, this Tick's got a, um, a birthday shout out to do at the gate. But if not, then um, I'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday, with our surprise pickup from Devour. Oh, God. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Share, subscribe, or bye. Ta-da.